Welcome to Relics of Hyrule. This is an updated Song of Time video. Um, the old video was too long and it had three different things in it. So this one is just going to be the Song of Time and how to make the uh, alternate versions of Song of Time, what the Song of Time does, that sort of thing. I'm here at Foral Host because Foral Host is the one place that you are guaranteed to find the Song of Time. Um, it's in Rift. It's in the Rift, southeast of Riften. Um, that's where Foral Host is. And I will warn you, Foral Host is difficult. It is one of the hardest dungeons in the game, um, and it's long. Uh, so I'm just gonna skip the whole thing. Okay, the Song of Time is in Foral Host Refectory. It's the last location in the. Uh, it's the third cell of the dungeon. And specifically, it's right here, in this chest, um, up on this sort of dining table thing, overlooking all of that malarkey. Um, there are some enemies that you have to deal with, lots of difficult enemies. I have the AI turned off so I don't have to deal with them. But there's the chest. It's a little baby chest. And inside you will find the songbook page. Song of Time. The description has changed. Uh, in 6.4, it now says something echoes from long ago. There's also a note um, that tells you to return to the Enchanter. Um, that will actually update too, uh, to be more specific as to what you need to do with um, the Song of Time. So let's return to the Song of Time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, here's the Song of Time. Let's return to that ancient Enchanter that it mentioned. Now, if you go to the Ancient Enchanter in the Midden, or Palestone Camp, or that secret other place, didn't say that, um, you can craft two new songs from the Song of Time. Um, there's this one, which is uh, the Inverted Song of Time, and there's um, Double Song of Time. So I have a lot of paper, so I'm going to uh, make those. Um, and I'm also going to deal with this Ice Wraith that's apparently here. What is wrong with my character? That's not how you aim a bow, buddy. Alright, there we go. Now. There's a Draugr too? What the hell? There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's how you get the song of the inverted song of time and the song of double time. Um, you can learn those, and I'll show you what those two do. So here's the inverted song of time. And good thing that thing's waking up. And time slows down. Dead. And it, it slows time down for 20 seconds. So, <laughs> it slows time down for quite a long time. You can see how slow it is, because she's drawing her sword really slowly. So that's that, and then the du Song of Double Time... Song of Double Time, which can't be cast at the same time as the Inverted Song of Time, uh, makes your health, magic coach, stamina regenerate 50% faster, and your moves, where your weapons will move 50% faster. So we'll wait for the Inverted Song of Time to run out, and then we'll show you the Double Song of Time. Here's how my weapon swings normally. That's one sense of how that thing swings. Um, about this axe, this is a... a little faster. Glass war axe. So that's how those swing. Now, here's the song of double time. And you can... 
I'm swinging much faster. However, here's the problem. The Song of Double Time, Double Time, Song of Double Time only applies to one weapon. Song of Double Time um, might need a little work, but currently it's similar to Elemental Fury, but it still makes your health regenerate faster, which is kind of the more important thing. Now, the normal Song of Time, the Song of Time. When cast normally, it heals you a little bit, and it also, um, <coughs> excuse me, Song of Time also allows you to craft things at the Ancient Enchanter, such as bomb flowers. If you have bomb flower buds, you can craft bomb flowers at the Ancient Enchanter with the Song of Time active. Um, and the idea there is that you're focusing time and making the bud bloom into a flower. Um, so that makes bud flower, bomb flowers a little easier to get. Um, you can do other things like that with the Song of Time. But you'll notice that the Ancient Gate Key is no longer here. Um, the Ancient Gate Key has been phased out. And I'm going to show you why. So... <laughs> Why do I always do that? Anyway, um, before 6.4, in order to open this door, that was an unintentional rhyme, open this door in Kino Langdenzel Shrine, um, you had to walk up to it and you had to open it like a caveman, and you had to have the ancient gate key. Um, the ancient gate key is still in the mod, but it will not open this door anymore because this is what the Song of Time does now. Not only that, but the Song of Time also... <laughs> I managed to figure out how to make the Song of Time open the door by itself. So I completely phased out the ancient gate key. Uh, and this works in Itnamzand and Morwidajal as well. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you more Widow's Jaw and Itnam's Sand. I'll encourage you to find out for yourself. So now, in order to get to the freezing caves in the Link Between Worlds, all you have to do is go to Kina Langdenzel Shrine, or um, Itnam Sand Sanctum, or more Widow's Jaw Sanctuary, and play the Song of Time. Now, of course, now, to open the Link Between Worlds, you need the Shrine Key um, from Kino Langdenzel or whichever dungeon you're accessing Link Between Worlds from. I just went over here and totally glossed over that fairy, didn't I? That's a fairy in a bottle. Don't worry about that. I'll talk about the fairy in a bottle in the uh, fairy in a bottle video. <laughs> um, now, I would show you the Link Between Worlds, but there's one more thing I need to show you about the Song of Time that is... Uh, debuting in 6.4. Um, so let's go somewhere like... Uh... Hmm. This is a pretty good place. Comdelamar. Um, Comdelamar is in the... Oh, hello. Good morning. Good night. Um, Comdelamar is in the Reach. It's in, uh, Roxanne's house. Um, more on that later. Uh, but, Comdelamar is one of the places that has one of these. So you may notice, um, this is sort of a sheer drop, and there's a hole over there that's new for 6.4. So that hole right there was not here uh, before 6.4. What did you do? What happened to you? Why did you lose health there for a thing? I don't know. Um, you can get over there by jumping using Whirlwind Sprint or being creative. Very, very creative. Uh, but if you want life to be a little easier, uh, you can play the Song of Time. Boop. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Song of Time, depending on which, which location you're in, will sometimes make uh, 
blocks of time appear. This block of time needs a little work because it was supposed to have an effect instead of just appearing. It was supposed to have this cool explosion that came with it. Obviously it's a work in progress, um, but 6.4 .4 has this involved. So now you can jump from here doo -doo, and then pop on over there with no trouble. Whee! Of course, you don't want to play the song of time while you're on it. Because it also makes them disappear. Yep. <laughs> so basically, in 6.4 of Rel version 6.4 of Relics of Hyrule, the Song of Time is a lot more similar to the way it was in Ocarina of Time. Uh, so that's the new Song of Time. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll check out the new Link Between Worlds videos, uh, video, or some other video out there. So, stay, stay classy.